Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari it's games. Treat time. Treat time. And it's oh treat God. time Good immediately. Job, <laughs> oh. You really Thomas. are their you really are their favorite. Like, <laughs> I know it's your plan. It's your and favorite. it's working. Yes. Your plan they, is working. They're they told all us in. earlier. They told us earlier about how much they whoo, how much they love Thomas. Yes. You gotta use this one. There you Bow. go. Well, welcome to the show. Welcome to Zero Page. Welcome to the cats. Let's switch over to the cats. While they ding for their treats. <laughs> that was immediate. Uh, today we are playing Atari 8-bit games on our Atari 800XL. There we go. Let's put that up there. And we have Darcy here today. Hello, Darcy. We have the cats. Atari and Sprite. That's Atari. That's Sprite. Sprite's the black one. Atari's the gray one. And they're getting fed right now by Thomas. Uh, today we have three Atari 8-bit games. Uh, Guntus, Cartfall, and Wonder Boy. <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Don't look at him. Ding, well, ding. He was going to go steal it. Oh, he was naughty. like, oh. Naughty You got a snack. I'm cute. I'm going to get it. <laughs> oh, that was very light, but it does count. Mm -hmm. It was audible. Ring the bell. No. Oh, it's so unfair. Ring your bell. Breaking them in half? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, there's very few left. That's funny. I thought we bought a new one. I bet there's a whole big one upstairs. Um, I always break them in half. Oh, do you? Ah. Less calories, more snacks. More snacks. Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers. Alan Farrar, Arkham H, uh, Armscar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Apari Patch, Quest, BR Pokop, Caffeman 2D, Carlos Madruga, Chelsea Dime Malk, Charles Whelan, Curl Lama, Cubanismo, Dr. Mukauser, Cernosov, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, or Jure Rapper, Johnny WC, Computer, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, N Medic Muse, Mike Saul, Mike Patel, Miss Command, MK Swift, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Nostalgia, Pac Man Plus, Pac Rap, BG, Kohog, RC70, Render Ghost, Pentless, BG, Core, Carter Pam, Rod Caster, Six Weeks, Smitty B, Smoked, Smoked 3D4. That's a new one. Uh, Spiceware, Esmeralda's Toy Pig. That's a new one, too. Welsh Man, the Tiki Dan, Tiki Dan K, Tifos, Trek MD2600, Vitoko, X, Ken X. And if you want to support the show, oh, cats are gone. Um, and get your name scrolling gently beside no one. Uh, you can hit the subscribe button. And it's free if you have Amazon Prime. There's a little checkbox or something like that. Um, we have mail. Let's open the mail. Don't take my bell, Atari says. <laughs> was, was, did he give a face when you took his bell? Might have. Was he like, what? <laughs> That's my bell. That's the bell that gives treats. Uh, this one is from the U.S. Let's see what it is. I genuinely don't know what this one is. Is this... Oh, I remember what this is. Here we go. Now, what this is... And I'll show you close up as I open it. It is a, a converter from VGA oh. to SCART. Sorry, which end is it? That's VGA in and so, audio. So you can take a VGA signal and plug it into SCART. Which and is, what's going to have the VGA signal? The machine? The machine would have Will VGA. Will it go either way? No. Okay. Uh, maybe. Um, <laughs> um, um, oh, um, 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 um. <laughs> I just wanted to compete. <laughs> keep saying um um so this is specifically for the link atari Lynx that is being repaired right now uh so it can go into the scart input and um this was sold out for the longest time but luckily i was able to snag one before they sold out yet again um so this should make it a lot easier to plug into my retro tank for the uh, Atari Lynx when I get that back all fixed up. Uh, I did have it plugged in, but the upscaler I had was very, very poor. And it made 
sparkly mess on the screen. So we'll see if it still makes a sparkly mess and if it's a retro tank or not. Uh, we have one more package. This one is from, this one's from France. Thank you Drexel for subscribing for 21 months. Well, you didn't subscribe for 20 months. You've been subscribing for 21 months. Uh, this one's from France. I am pretty sure I know what this one is. Um, I haven't seen anybody open this up yet on the internet. I know I got in pretty early with this. So this box looks pretty custom. I don't imagine anybody else has this exact box. <laughs> well, the contents inside. Oh, I Yeah, it's addressed to me. How are other people getting boxes addressed to me? They should be coming to me. <laughs> um, oh my God, it's a box in a box. <laughs> Tricky. Um, this is this I cost six euros and 88. How would you say that? Are they cents? Six euros and 88 cents? I don't know. It's definitely not 6.88 euros. <laughs> is that how you'd say it? Six and 88 one hundredth euros. Anyway, I just sent Tell us, a, Inform us. a package to the U.S. I mean, admittedly, it's four times as big, um, but it cost $80 Canadian to send it. And that's the cheapest rate that I could send it. And that from cost where? $6 from here to the U.S. Just yesterday. Okay, cat in a box. You want to be in a box? For us, as you would say, six euro eighty-eight. Six euro eighty-eight. Oh. Okay. But what is and and the eighty-eight? The unit is cents. Is it cents? Or is it's it just eight, cents. Or is it just nebulous eighty-eight one hundredth euros? Because cents, I think, works in a lot of different currencies. Sometimes it's pesos. Is that cents or is that dollars? Well, it's in Me a Mexican money. It's one. Percent. One then. percent. No. Oh my god, it's a box in a box in a box. Oh my god. Are you not getting in that box? How about this box? Try that one. Do you like that one better? Put it upside I down. Didn't, I didn't know that he was actually shipping these out in boxes. It's not anything to see yet. Because I'm still opening packaging. <laughs> This is the third box. I wonder if they'll be inside the box, the things that I want to get to, have their own individual boxes. Okay. Oh no, there's two boxes here. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's just take a look at one of these because we don't need to. There's something going on here. <laughs> something going on here with the unwillingness to tear the, the foam stuff that well, he's going to throw in the garbage. I might use that actually. I just ran out because I just shipped a massive box. Mm. Okay, so let's open this up on uh, camera actually. So uh, these are aftermarket Intellivision controllers. Oh, there we go. Which were uh, a big hit when the person released them. So these are uh, Intellivision, Intellivision, Television, Long Play Disc Controllers. So that implies that uh, you can use them for a long time. Cat. There's the back of the box. We'll investigate these a bit more when we actually play the Intellivision again. Uh, there is a box. Another box in the box. Uh, Lucky you. And this is the attachment um, if you have like the first gen in televisions uh -huh. because the controllers attach inside oh. onto the motherboard. So you need that if you want to attach them to that. If you have an Intellivision 2 or um, a Sears version, uh, then you don't need it. So there it is. And they're meant to be held sideways mm. rather than vertical. And with the Which never made any sense. No, it, it really didn't. So this is a sideways controller with buttons, all the three buttons there, rather than on the sides, which were terrible to press. Um, very nice layout. Um, it is a 3D printed controller, <clears throat> but it does have alternate uh, alternative D-pads, ah. which is way better, way, way, way better. I don't know if this is a 16-way controller, because the original Intellivision controllers are 16-way. Oh. 
Normal controllers are eight ways. Eight, I was going to say. Right? You can go up, down, left, right, and then the well, combination. two, yeah. Yeah. And these are 16 way. I don't know if this is, I can't remember exactly. So it's got a, um, a D pad. And also, it's got a thumbstick oh, as well. That seems better to me, if it yeah. works. Yeah, some people, oh, some people like the thumbsticks, some people like the D-pad. You do not I like the D-pad. You don't like D-pads? No. Arf. People I don't either. And a massive, massive instruction manual here. 16 way equals 32 combinations? Uh, uh, I think it's 16. I think it's eight. I think it's eight. Oh, it's in French and English. That would be crazy. That would yeah, be amazing if it was 32. I bet I'm. it must be eight switches that gives you eight 16. Eight switches. I think so. Yeah, 32 is a ridiculous amount of of control for something yeah, from 1979. Because and you would have to put it into your code, right? Otherwise yeah, you'd you have would to lose. As most games don't use it, the, uh, the granularity of the 16 ways. But they can, most use just but they eight. can do eight. They can just use eight, even if they want, even if they can get the eight by checking the one switch on the corner. Yes. Whereas that's right. if there were 16, they would have to check, they would have to Manual. check just to make sure that you're sort of near the corner. They'd have to check more uh, spots. That's right. I don't know how the controller works, though. It might not be. And and, and then it would have to base its calculations Thrust on that. it's eight way, then. Eight way. It, okay. Yeah. 16 directional, 16 directions then. They may have, they probably said it's 16 directions rather than mm. using the nomenclature of eight, of yeah. uh, 16 way. Yeah. Yes, I trapped the cat. So, uh, very fun. the box and put it on top. And we'll have to do a uh, an Intellivision uh, day coming up to show those off. My Intellivision is uh, off for repair ah. right now. Off for upgrading, actually. Upgrading, upgrading. not repair? Not repair. Uh, it uh, well upgrading and repair. Um, so two more interviews from Portland Retro Gaming Expo have been released on the <coughs> channel on the YouTube channel. Uh, Ryan Whitmer of Phaser Cat Games talking about Robin Banks for the fifty two hundred, which is also off for repair. Robin Banks. Yes. That's not right. Rob, no, don't rob the banks. Only in video games can mm -hmm. you get away with that mm -hmm. and not go to jail. Well, you uh, can get away with it. Anyway. <laughs> you can. I'm not trying to encourage you. <laughs> Ethically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you can press more than two buttons then. I wonder if that has been utilized. Yeah, because there is three... Well, on the Intellivision, the uh, number pad mm -hmm. shares controls with the game pad. Oh, I see. That's why they can do so many things on it, on a 9-pin. So, I believe games are either in the mode to accept numbers, or it's in a mode to accept um, the directions. But the three individual buttons, I think, are distinct. Um, and pressing two of them at the same time should result in um, uh, an extra What's option. Here? I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. And the other uh, interview I released is Carl Forehand from Songbird talking about the Atari Lynx and Jaguar releases uh, through Songbird. And that is the end of the news. So let's get into the games. Welcome everybody to the show. Uh, we're going to be playing Atari 8-bit games today. Boom. Uh-oh. What? Did you wreck it already? You trying to figure out whether it's 8 or 16 way? Okay, it's just that when you go this way, you hear a click. Yeah. You go this way, you hear a click. When you go this way, it doesn't make... Oh, uh-oh. Okay, send it back. You can send it back. Okay, ready? Cat trap has expired. He's given up. We can move that mess out of the way. So this game is pretty self-explanatory, but oh, actually, we're going to show something first. Talk a tiny bit. Come on. Oh, buttons. They wear down. Let's go to the web page here. So this is made by Infuto. Um, this is his 12th game that he's made uh, in his cross-platform series. So Infuto uses his own cross-platform compiler that uh, spits out games for over 50 consoles and computers. That's cool. So it's like, you know, in the magazines or books back in the 80s, it had basic programs, and it's like, yeah. you can type these basic programs in on an Apple, and an Atari, a right, Commodore, right. and because basic was 
a cross-platform mm -hmm. language, just like a lot of languages are cross-platform. But um, it's a bit of more of a challenge, of course, with uh, computers and consoles because they never had a program that was able to spit out all these uh, different platforms at once because they're all very, you they're know, like all low level. Okay. Yeah, they're all a lot of them. Well, assembly language. They they're they all understand, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And but and they each have their di different chipset. Very chip specific. Set, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different chipset, different resolutions, uh, different sound chips that they use. Hmm. So this this. Uh, program is obfuscating that that level and but you'll notice these games are very simple and they're very uh similar like lowest common denominator i think really is what they're what he's programmed them for and he's like okay out of all these 50 platforms what is available to use and he's like okay um two sound voices or whatever or he allows it to upscale. It's like, okay, if there's two, use two. If there's three, here's the extra sounds. Right. Mm -hmm. um, or, you know, this system only had two sprites. So we've got to make sure that you can only show two sprites on the line or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this latest game, Guntis, a, he has uh, put it out for Atari 800 which works on the Atari 8-bit line. But you'll also notice he has put it on for uh, ColecoVision, M5, SG-1000, like all these huge lists. Look at that. MSX, PC-800, like a whole bunch of Japanese ones. Um, uh, the program is, I believe, from Japan, or at least types in Japanese. Uh, let's see, any other ones that I recognize? FM. TRS-80, oh, there we go, recognize that one, <laughs> TRS-80 Coco and Coco 3 and MC-10, a uh, whole bunch. Add the 2600 to supported platforms, the game will become even simpler. Uh, yes, much, much simpler. <laughs> a lot of these could not be done, especially this one, not easily, it would have to be very bespoke. That's that's the problem with the 2600, it's very unique. Yeah, yeah. Um, it doesn't have sprites. <clears throat> per se it has two i mean maybe that gives it legs though uh yeah because it's special it's, it is special and actually more flexible in some ways than the other ones um so anyway there's a lot of um uh platforms he supports um so whenever he makes a program there's apple too he's able to spit it out on many i think he has to correct some <clears> of them <throat> that's why it doesn't come out immediately on all of them he has to export it and then go, okay, that doesn't What's quite work, working? and yeah, tweak yeah. a couple things. But mostly the basics are done. So let's uh, play it, and then I'll read about it. It's a, basically a shooter. So press the button. Get the menu back up. Oh, that's a little early. It must have already been on something on the screensaver. So press left and back. Left and button, sorry. And gun test. There we go. Oh, what is, what are we on? Yeah, that's not right. Dion's not gonna be on today. I think I'm on the wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was like taking input from a non-existent <clears throat> laptop that's not plugged in. Hey buddy, where are you going? Okay. So Nothing. this was uh, put out on October 26th. It's a 16K game. Are you start? Yeah, you can just start, start shooting. Okay, I'm gonna win now. You win the game. Stage one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Oh, two, two shots at a time. So hammering it doesn't help too much. Does it have auto fire? It does. There we go. Uh, he's also made Ariel, Ascent, Battlelock, oh, Bootscale, K-Corm, oh. Cat-Corm, Cabot, Guntus, Impetus, Lift, Maisie, Neurus, and Reptus. Likes the asses. Um, so he doesn't provide any instructions for this game at all. Uh, beyond Move is Joystick 1, Shoot is Joystick 1, Keyboard is Disabled, Insert the Cartridge and Turn on the Power. But Indie Retro News described it as Guntus puts you in control of a mighty spaceship that must destroy waves of enemy formations that are out to destroy you. 
The more waves of enemies you destroy, the higher your score. <laughs> Just beware that through every stage, the enemy waves become even more dangerous. So does the level of difficulty. Good luck and let us know how far you get in in Futo's new game, Guntus. That's funny. It's so generic of a description that it could, uh, that it could describe well, it all the space shooters ever made. <laughs> I made it to stage three! No, let no one forget, I got to stage three the first time I played. Glitchy. Yeah, a little glitchy. It is. <laughs> Stage three, pretty good. Yeah, it's Japanese, Japanese based. So supportive. <laughs> you did it! You did it! You, you're the world record holder in this house. You're the house record holder. <laughs> yeah, there's a little, a little glitchiness on the, um, on the sprites as they pass through other ones. Yeah, it's beat. not smooth. Yeah, it's no. Not smooth. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, so it looks like he'll. Oh no. Oh, right. did you notice that I died? <laughs> I did. It looks like but it surprised? I don't get it. Why did it surprise you? <laughs> Ooh, they shoot when they're down that low. Well, I don't Ooh, even recall game. them being that low the first what time. What hit you? Honestly, I don't recall this happening. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you're on stage three. Oh, it started me at stage three. Then. Oh, weird. Did, was the game over? Maybe uh, it three. gave me a chance to continue and I uh, just didn't notice. That could be. I wasn't really super. That's why I died so Yeah, bad. Vitoko says started from three. I was expecting not so much pain. Your score. Oh, big hitbox there. That was yeah. a big hitbox. I also feel hard done by. Stage four. Oh, okay. So it continues from where. Yep. That's stage good. four. It's good for me. <laughs> I mean, it's bad for me because now I have to play stage four, even though I'm not good enough for it. Well, you did make it. To it. <laughs> if you had infinite lives, you would, <laughs> you would make it to it. It doesn't yeah. seem to get harder. Ah! Oh my god! There's another bullet that kind of appeared from nowhere. There, it's coming up from the bottom. There's like a mirror. No, uh, I don't think it's yeah, a real it's bullet. It's just a reflection. <laughs> yep. It is a mirror bullet. Yeah. But it looks so close, like it could almost kill you. It's like a timing mm -hmm. thing, right? It's like drawing it in the wrong spot or something. Yeah. Yeah, because it, it does mirror, kind of mirror an existing bullet. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, ah. oh no, it's such an angle. Cornered. Yeah, you were forced into the corner there. A good rule is to go the opposite way while you have time of the direction of the bullet. Yeah. And a, a strategy on um, Galaga is to kind of stay in one side. I think you might be able to shoot the bullets. No. Uh, stay thought. on one side. Ah! And then let them shoot, and then go over to the other side before the bullets come down. Yeah. Can you that, move up and down? wasn't so bad there. Oh, you can! Oh, there you go. Oh, oh That'll geez. help a lot. Oh, jeez, that just complicates things even more. Glitchy bullet thrust sets. Yeah, it's very glitchy. Ah! <laughs> Um, so he uses a program called C8, C-A-T-E, which is kind of clever. I don't think I understand. I don't think I pointed that out last time I mentioned it. I just called it Kate. Maybe I did. Uh, a C-like programming language compiler for retro CPUs uh, to create builds for all of his games on various platforms. And um, if you want to know uh, more about... No! Infuto, you can check out the April 12th, 2022... Uh, uh, April 12th, 2022 episode where we go into much more detail about um, the languages. Ah! That one's on you. I saw you go right into it. They're all on me. I have the <laughs> controller in my hand. Well, sometimes you're just in an unfortunate spot yeah, and well. they corner you. And yet some people can probably play this game till, till the cows <laughs> come home. It's always on me. Probably. Can they shoot them? Like them shooting themselves? Yeah. No, uh, I saw a bullet pass through. Because sometimes... There, it's passing through. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't... I don't... Some games, there are enemy-friendly fire. I, I see... I, I see the point hilarious. of that, but I... It was uh, the game we played the other day. I prefer to oh. consistent. Bullets are dangerous. If you hit them, you die. In asteroids... But only if they're their bullets. I don't want to die from my own bullets. Oh, God. Okay, no. I take it back. I take it back. I can't think of a game where you can die from your own bullets. Oh no, no, like if you throw a grenade mm -hmm. in some games and you're like near that grenade when it blows up, yeah, you can die. Oh, we were playing Asteroids the other day on the last show 
and there's a UFO in the game of Asteroids, and it frequently crashes into the Asteroids as it comes on the screen. I'm like, yay! Ah, end the stream! Stage six. Being software sprites, these are very good, Vitoko says. Oh, Vitoko knows. He makes lots of 8-bit games. Oh my god, you can go all the way up there? What? Okay, I like uh, that. Oh, you can go right up? That's cool. So you can go past... It's pretty funny that I played this far, <laughs> because... not being aware that I could, like, fly up into their ranks. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but it does have checks for the left and right of the side of the screen, doesn't it? Like, you can't just go off the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but no. how high can you go? I... I past I, them? Don't like... ask me. You do it on your turn, <laughs> mister. So curious on my turn with my last guy. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Okay. No, oh! Right to the top. Wow. So you can hang out. Okay, I oh. very much approve of that. Ah! But they shot upwards. Yeah, no, they shoot wow. at you. They shoot at you. Like That's why I was asking if you could, if they could kill each other, because I was like, oh, because you can go up right. and, then, and have it fly towards them. Oh, they get into formation really low sometimes, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Goodness. Oh, my. Oh, you play. Okay. <laughs> but I want to start from zero. Sorry for the yelling. Sorry. <laughs> Do you have your compressor thing on it? Am I? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. That was because of you. Oh, reset. Stage one. But the compressor's a good thing. People said, Darcy's too loud. He yells a lot. I'm like, I bet there's a compressor. And no, nobody would believe that. But the compressor also brought up quiet sounds like eating, which people get very annoyed at. Um, it's happening. Get over it. <laughs> quiet sounds to be loud. And loud sounds to be quiet, which is good. Well, not the quiet sounds to be loud, not all the quiet sounds. Oh my god. I ran straight for the first bullet. I wanted to see if there's a rapid fire. Oh, there is. Is there? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna reset. Reset. Nope. Just so you know, <laughs> your first game was 300 points. <laughs> nope. Didn't count. Mm hmm. Did not count. Neighbors like that. The yelling? Yeah, they love it. Five neighbors? <laughs> Five neighbors like that. <laughs> there is... 21 a... Helens, actually. <laughs> That's right. There is a neighbors app. What is it called? Next Door? Where you can get all the dirt on your neighborhood. Because people type it in... Is it anonymous? Couldn't somebody just... Or is it like you know who the person is? So if it's anonymous, no. other people could just go into neighborhoods and start rumors <laughs> that they don't even live in. And just like completely target certain person's houses and make stuff up about them. But if then if it's not anonymous, then they're not going to be dishing the dirt out, are they? I've only heard of Nextdoor. I've never actually used it because I really don't care. But it is... Uh... Interesting concept. Yeah, they shoot directly at you, wherever you are. So when they're down low and they're shooting at you, it's like really, really deadly because the shot is going right, like horizontally across the screen. Which is, what was that? What just killed me? Something yellow came up from like, the bottom of the screen. Good movement patterns. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty glitchy. Them shooting at any angle at any time probably precipitated the need for you to move up, because otherwise they're shooting completely horizontally at you, and you just can't evade it. Mm -hmm. It's just impossible. Like right now they're going to shoot horizontally, so it forces me to go yeah. up. I, I, that's my favorite part of this game. That you can go anywhere you can go on the screen? All the way to, uh, so good. Cause it's, it is, yeah. Because otherwise, exactly what you expect, that game where you're at the bottom and they're at the top, <laughs> and the fact that you can go up there is just, like, was so liberating and awesome. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. And you don't... It's, I mean, I guess it, it, it's to be expected. That, like, it, It's like the removal of a normal constraint, right? Like... <laughs> It is, like, you. this is very unusual mm -hmm. in a uh, fixed screen shooter. Mm -hmm. In a um, shooter where you can, like, it's scrolling vertically or horizontally, no, you don't expect 
um, the restriction of the movement. Usually you can move anywhere in the screen. But this is super, super unusual. But the fact that you can only fire up makes it makes you want to stay low. <laughs> Sorry, it was not an accident. It was not, a, <laughs> that's not an accident that he said five neighbors like that. <laughs> he was being very specific. <laughs> three sides and then top and bottom. <laughs> three, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we border just two people. Three, three people. So we can only have up to three people, unless you're extra loud. I live semi-rural. <laughs> yeah, you do. So, yeah. I live in Vancouver. You live in Nowheresville, where there's like, nobody. But also, we're not that. We're not that loud. <laughs> no. Except when we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> then it gets loud. We can get very. <laughs> we can get very raucous. Uh, loud. <laughs> yeah. Animated. I like that. And we each take talking. turns. We each, Tamara and it's I each animated. take turns being annoyed at how loud the other person is. <laughs> <laughs> and then continue to be loud yourself. <laughs> Tamara gets really loud when like when it's time to go to bed. Suddenly she'll be talking with like an outside voice. I'll be like, what are you doing? Like the light is off, it's time for sleep. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> But mostly, like, during the day, it's mostly her complaining about me having a loud voice. This game is challenging because of the flickering. The bullets sometimes disappear. And, uh, that makes it challenging. And the enemies sometimes disappear. So the glitchiness. Unless this is supposed to be played PAL, but I don't think so, because Japan is NTSC land. Pretty sure this is supposed to. But he has made corrections after I've pointed them out to him. Oh my god. So, how are you supposed to avoid that? Guy's coming up from the bottom and shooting you instantly. I would just like. Oh, Hang out in the middle no. of the screen? I want to. I was going to say. I was going to say something. What? Stupid. See? I couldn't even move. I'm gonna oh, no, die. you know what? I actually did. I actually did get a higher score than you. Okay. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, because oh, I got. Oh, you did. I got 8680. Uh, that was my highest score when I quit. Oh, because. Okay, watch this. Okay. I died on purpose because I want to start over level six. Mm-hmm. Okay. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. Dead. <laughs> because level six starts... Starts with them coming up with the With them line. coming up the yeah, middle. That's not right. And you can't move <laughs> until they come uh, out. However, because you carry on, you can just make it past this stage and then okay. start over and you'll get a full... Full chance to. Um, I wish I. I guess I wish there was some way we could later find out how many levels I went in the without dying. Well, you made it two level. I made eight, it two stage or, eight. Yeah. Yeah, at least. But it started on stage eight, or is that when he died? Well, Wait, the video. I believe. The, I believe someone was reporting this. <laughs> Quite possibly. It's possible. Twitch and myself reporting. are both reporting this. Um, but I think that's a bit of a bug, is that you have to lose a life. Oh, you, that's that's clearly not right. If that's you've lost a life right. on yeah. level 6, or start on level 6, you will lose a life. Again. Yeah. You have to complete level 6, yeah, or yeah. you will lose a life. How about that? You still might lose a life if you happen to be right <laughs> at the bottom. But, that's true. Uh, but that's that's more fair, because you the fact yeah. that you can move... Is pretty relevant. It, yes, you could be <laughs> anywhere in the screen, yeah. and those guys just come up from the middle. So it's really a bad idea to hang around the bottom. He's reused this music. He tends to use the same music in multiple games, <laughs> which is fine. Yay! Stage eight. I'm up to Darcy level. Okay, yeah, you're well, nowhere still. near as many. Score points. No, I'm not have. actually. How did you get so many score points? It's because <laughs> I'm so good at playing games. <laughs> that is true. It's really good, and oh everybody knows it. Stage eight is. You're not... just not as good as I am. That's just how it is. Keep away from the bottom, just like 1942. Very true. Am I gonna die in level eight? I think they come in from the side. I 
makes it hard to do patterns, like destroy patterns and sit. Uh, uh, sit in one. Oh no, run! <laughs> sit in one spot as they do a loop and kill them all. This is getting really, really bad. And very slow. Oh my god, it's so slow. How many guys come in? What if I did, let you them... start, did you start at stage one? Uh, no. You, well, you technically, have. I have played multiple games. No, but what I mean is, like, when I quit and handed it to you, yeah. you obviously started at stage one. Yes, that is. So I think, I think for us, the high score must get, it must be your high score. Well, yeah. I reset the whole game. Oh, the whole, be the because, system. Okay, because yeah, yeah. it continued. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't be able to start from gotcha. stage yeah, one. Yeah. So your your high score was erased, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. No, no, just uh, I was trying to figure out. I'm still trying to out. figure out how, how you got 8,000. By playing have, good. You must have played really, really well, and I didn't notice. I was a little surprised that no one was patting me on the back. <laughs> the cats noticed. <laughs> the cats noticed. Because, not because I was actually playing good, but because I wasn't playing entirely trash. <laughs> like normal. <laughs> Have you been practicing? No. <laughs> I just got lucky. Getting a little bit better. Sounds like you just have to stay up a bit to avoid that insta death. If you just go back and forth just a little bit, you can kind of stick near their loop de loop patterns. Recently, I borrowed my dad's drone. Oh, yes, I saw those videos. Very I cool. flew the drone for the first time. And I don't know if you know this, but drones are kind of cool. You've been, pra you've been practicing that. You've been practicing I, virtual I, I, drones. I, I did, but I didn't... I, I, guess, I guess I used it a bit, but, like, with the real drone... First of all, I, it's a DJI drone, and so it, when you let go of the controls, it's not a... Oh, FPS. No. It's not an FPS drone, so like when you let go of the controls, it just stays in its position. Which is, which is nice. Which handy. is exactly what I would like yes. to use when I was doing it the Rather other day. Rather than the ones that just. Oh, they're awesome. They, they they're all the or FPS. What happens? You are literally controlling. You're controlling it. You're controlling the drone. Right. The whole time, and the throttle. Essentially, the throttle for throttling your, oh. your you when you push it up, it goes up. When you pull it down, it goes down. So on the way, and yet you can't put it in a spot where it holds it in position. Not really. You have to you, constantly. It manage, stays where it right? is, but you're basically constantly managing. It. Like accelerate, like the, you're turning you're, on the fan. You're moving really. it a little bit up and down constantly. Right. Once you get good at it, you don't realize you're doing it. But if you let go of the joystick, it's either going to go whoo, and like spin around and hit the ground that way, or it's just going to come if, down. But if you're managing it like that, like mm -hmm. you manually, yeah. and you're filming something, it's going to be like this the whole time, unless there's uh, like so sta stabilization. There's the stabilization. Video. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's not always stabilization. Depends on your drone. But with the FPS drones, they're doing it for racing. They're not doing it for uh, right. cinematics, right? They're right. like, so they don't. they're doing it for the like agility of doing it. So not... they want more control over the drone. They want more so control over the drone. Full control. That's right. Yeah. And, the, and they don't have full control because the drone, the drone still automatically uh, keeps, it, it does the job of keeping itself level. So when you tell right. it, to, when you tell it to turn this way, it turns that way and then stays that way. Right. But it, but that's just its relative orientation to not to the world, right? So it will then continue to fly that way forever. Whereas right. with the ones that have like assisted control, when you tell it to turn this way, it flies that way, and then when you let go of the controls, it levels out again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, which, which is good for filming. So just to be clear, uh, I was trying to be ironic when I brought the topic up. <laughs> well, I'm sure that you all know that drones are fun and that you can take pictures <laughs> of, from up high, but it was pretty cool. And uh, we were getting some work done at, at our house, and there was some there was a tree getting chopped down. Oh, and okay. So there, were, there was like a truck there, and they were grinding stuff up. And the I thing that was that. really weird. I didn't see that on the video. Uh, I might not have posted. I didn't post no, that one. No. So what's really weird is that you're you the drone's up there, and it, it's up high, and then you see a car drive by, and you're like, wait a minute, what's what what's happening? 
is it live down there on Earth? Because <laughs> you're used to seeing that perspective. Even though you're flying around, you're used to seeing that perspective. Maybe in, I don't know what it is. This is my guess. Yeah. But it's like you're used to seeing it in like Google Maps. Oh. You're sort of seeing that perspective, and you can you can move around, and you can. I don't know what it is. All I know is it felt super surreal when a car drove by. It's like, this and is then, live. And then I was like, oh, my God, there's a guy walking around there. And then the guy was like, Rrr. you know, he's chainsawing the tree, and the tree's all like, <laughs> it was uh It was pretty fun. So, uh, the next game <laughs> we're going to play. Well, you don't want to hear any more about my dumb drone? Uh, well, after we after we start <laughs> after we start the next game. We there's nothing talk. more to say. That's it. Drones are fun, and you can see stuff from up high. End of story. End oh. of story. No, drones are super cool. Yeah. Um, I won! Woohoo! You technically did. I, I did Te What do you mean technically? <laughs> Where does this technically come in? We don't need to qualify it. Technically, <laughs> technically and actually. <laughs> uh, the next game is Cartfall, which is part of the Gravity Game Jam. It's not called Gravity, but that's what it means uh, in English. Uh, its actual name is... Gravitad. Oh, I, okay, I'm gonna mess that up. G R A W I T A C J A. Uh, 8 bit game. Thank you for subscribing, Steps! Woohoo! Woohoo, yeah! Oh no! Steps didn't subscribe. Atari 800 XL Rules gifted Steps a ah. subscription. Which is awesome. Which is Thank awesome. Thank you so much. Um. So the 8-Bit Game Jam is a hackathon event in which teams of programmers, graphic designers, and musicians have 30 hey, 36 hours to write a game for any 8-Bit platform. There is no restrictions in the programming language and the tools used. Only limitation will be the pre predetermined topic of the game, which participants <coughs> will learn just before the start of the competition. So this topic... Uh, so here's the results. It took place October 7th to 9th. 36 hours. Yeah, that's... Pff. That's not lots. Unless you're How really, long does really it good. take to learn assembly? <laughs> uh, you well, can, you you already know assembly though, so you uh, could basics you could it. participate. The basics, no? no? <laughs> I think you could try it. Thirty six hours. It's I could make something. It's the, it's the pressure you need to like make something. I could put something on the yeah. screen. Maybe move it, it, it around. No, I would not get sleep. I would have to do it with no sleep. And then by the end, it would be very terrible. Sleep is for the dead. Something <laughs> That's like right. That. Sleep is for the weak. So the, co the, weak. the topic would be store. The topic is store for this competition. Uh, so the uh, entries for Atari 8-bit, <clears throat> there are four of them. Can I, yep. can I ask a question about the topic? Yes. It's a word and you interpret it however you want? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Uh, it happens the same way with film competitions. We've mm -hmm. entered in, we entered into one a yep. long time ago. Yep. Was there... There must have been... Oh, they gave us stuff. They gave us a present, didn't they? They gave us a yeah, present? Yeah, I think there was something, yeah. And there was a phrase that we yeah. had to incorporate? Yeah. But beyond those, like, they gave us, like, three restrictions. But beyond that, you can kind of prepare, like, oh, we're going to use this location. We're going to kind of... We have these actors and frame it this way. It, it would be similar to this. That's cool. Like, That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you can set up your framework yeah. and set up the style of game, like a yeah. platformer or whatever, <clears throat> and then just shape it to be a store game, I guess. Um, so there are four Atari 8-bit entries. Uh, the first one was, I guess that translates to Object Challenge, Abage, Abage Tech Challenge. Um, that came first place. Uh, second place is the one we're going to be playing, Cart Fall uh, by Bocianu. Bokianu, uh, Tatku and Kaz. Uh, third place was uh, Pelks and Cox. And fourth place was uh, Castle, it translates to. Um, the other ones were a little... Like the ones with driving the car was just... You drove this car on this track and it pushed you left and right and you have to stay on the track. Like first person... Uh, third person perspective. And things would fall from the sky and you'd grab them. Fairly one note. It, the the track was cool, like the horizon kind of driving <clears throat> games where things get closer and closer. There's nothing on the track. It was just a very straightforward game. This one is a little bit more to it. Um, Cartfall. Uh, Pelks and Cox didn't uh, seem to work, unfortunately. Like it looks really cool. It's a platformer, but nothing was functional in it. Like they didn't finish it or something. Uh, and Castle, I can't remember what that was, but also was not finished, really. 
Uh, this one was kind of the finished one, uh, and it came second. But I guess the judges, like, it just got beat out by uh, Serena Object Challenge, 36.57 to 36. Hmm. Probably because the, the, the programming challenge was a bit more um, because of the horizon thing going right, on right. and this is a platformer or whatever they judged on they're very very close but we're gonna play second place um oh no the castle is a platformer uh pelks and cox is a, a venture type game where you go into stores and you just collect money but the game you can't really die in the game too easily uh so this one that interested me so let's flip over to that and play that Reset this. So wait, these were oh these were Atari eight hundred. Uh, eight bit. Eight bit. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Because there's different yeah, yeah, platforms yeah, yeah. and they have different about amounts of uh, memory, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you could uh, load that up, please. Darcy, grab the joystick. If you can do it. I believe in. No. I just played that one. <laughs> <laughs> And we're doing cart fall. Cart fall. Switch the cart. Oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah, that's a good shopping cart. See the handles. So this is how you tell if a shopping cart is good or not. Is if the, <laughs> the handles have to be above the back wheels, because otherwise, when you try to ride it around the store, which uh, I always do, yes, um, yes, of course, it will tip. If they're if they're if they're not. It, they could be behind the the bars, but then you like shin yourself constantly. Yes. But you want them to be at least underneath the bars, so that when you lift yourself up on it, it doesn't. But not. Really. But not forward past the wheels. Uh, you won't, don't want them back past the wheels, because otherwise, it your weight tips it up and. It oh yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you you want your weight to be evenly distributed mm -hmm. on the back wheels. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Uh, okay, so uh, go for it. It's fairly self-explanatory. You're a shopping cart. You can turn left and right. You can hop over things. And the longer you press the button, the higher you jump. And you are collecting coins in a certain amount of time. Um, so this was posted on October 11th in the Atari forums. Hi, here's another simple game written in Mad Pascal. This game was written in 36 hours on a game jam event called Gravity. In a limited time, you must collect as many coins as possible. The longer you hold down the fire button, the higher the cart will jump. My highest score is 49. Can you beat it? Uh, well, I cannot. We're gonna try. Darcy oh, did. Oh, 26. Here you go. Got halfway. You get 49. <laughs> Got halfway there. Halfway only in score, not in. And I think, like, I wasn't halfway to to uh, matching forty nine. <laughs> I was halfway yes. the number, which is way, way, way less than half the effort required. That is to, true. I think. Uh, I don't know how you'd manage that, but getting high scores, getting half of the highest score, is like, much easier than. That's it. Not. I'm not. I was not half as good. No. Way, way, way less than <laughs> It doesn't half work like that. It's yeah. like a... It's like you might be... Getting 48 might be half as good as getting 40. I don't know, but you it, know what I mean. Yeah, very Something true. like that. Like that last bit could be the one. Like remember Jump Wall Jump Ninja? And you're oh. like getting that last like room. That's where all the skill came in. Like, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's uh, exponential. That's the word I'm looking for. This what, this title screen definitely sh should be on a CRT because it's using... Uh, very specific oh, yeah, yeah. graphics tricks. The name escapes me right now. Uh, where you can draw one line, it actually appears on two on a CRT because of the uh, way it processes things. Yeah. Um, That's why the text was not as pretty as it might have been. Yes, because I've seen it on an emulator and it looks just Oh, they're worth five fine. points each. Oh, what? Uh... Oh, that was only worth two. Oh, what? That was only worth one. That was worth one. What is happening? Oh, it says two on it. Oh. The one at the bottom there says one. So I should bypass. You shouldn't try too hard to get the, that's another one. Right. But is there more than one? That's one. one I think they're all ones one. now. Oh no, why was the first ones? Was to it give tricky? you a start. <laughs> False give you sense a... of. There's oh, a that's a five. Okay, interesting. Beat me by two. Cat, what are you up to? 
Watch his mouth. I'm innocent. Watch his mouth and watch the cables in relation to his mouth. He is definitely is on he the back hunt. back on it? Psst. Hey! Psst. <laughs> Bad cat. <laughs> gotta be cruel. Sorry, bud. I gotta be cruel. Now I'm trying to figure out whether it's best to kind of stay at the top or stay at the bottom. Oh, that's a five. Don't go too far! It's definitely better to hold down the button, I think. Oh, there's oh. another five. Oh, and a two up top. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, another five. Wow. There's another five. Oh, come on. I think it's better to stay at the top. Yeah, it's better to stay, stay at the top, the top. because uh, then you can fall down quicker, I think. 38, that's better. Oh, on the first says stay, stay at, at the, the bottom. bottom. Yeah, I think so. Like, stay. Right, what's the, at the bottom? Because you can hold down the button infinitely. Oh, and jump, yeah. And jump. Because there's a five. Actually, you can fall down. Yeah. While holding the button. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is good. What I should do, unless there's a five at the top, I'm going to just stay on these two levels. Because you constantly fall down to the first floor. Yep, that's a pretty good tactic. I don't know how he got 47 though. Lots of fives around, I guess. Just random fives? Maybe if I go backwards, it's like a secret passage. No, I wasted my jump. No! No! That's a tough one because it's on like a tiny platform. So if you miss, you go right back down. Hmm. How did he get so much? 31. More! 33. Getting better. It's easier to go up. Definitely easier to go up. Two, five, five. Ooh. Oh my god. I want that. No! Oh. I probably also picked this one because it had a challenge attached to it. It's like, can you beat my score? Well then, <laughs> let's give that a go. 35, best yet. Nope, you have 38. Did I? I think so. Okay. I didn't get it. Is this game timed? Max number of coins or wait till the game over? There's, timed. There's a little bar at the bottom uh, for the time. So you can see it. It's very subtle because it doesn't move very fast, but yeah, it's the gray bar at the bottom. I wonder if it's even a, like a waste of time to go backwards. Except for like a five. I think it's just luck. Back for that. 36. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> After you're finished your chocolate bar, you're going to have to play this too. See if I can get better than 29. Yep. Is that your score? One. I'm not sure. I think it was though. Oh, when I come back. Or 20. Six or. Or, I don't know. One. One. That's total luck. Um, this is kind of a play on City Connection, which is an arcade game. 21. Terrible. Terrible, but it's just random. Oh, that one's worth it.
in city connection, you're, you're doing something a little, oh my God, see? Oh, what's going on here? Hmm, maybe you can just go back and forth and kind of trigger the spots where they are. Cause that appeared from nowhere. There was nothing there before. Hmm. Dan says, reminds me of super skateboarding a bit on the 7800. Never played that one. Ooh, a five. Okay, I wanna see what goes in the screensaver quick. What? That was, what? What just happened? Uh oh. <clears throat> what just happened? This looks terrible. Oh, it's fast to load. Let's redo it. Okay, so if we can trigger something. Maybe it's certain spots the coin appears. So there's a two and a two. If I go back, no. One. How far off the screen does it take to come back? Mm, stays for quite a bit. I see. Thank you. See this? Ugh. Ugh. Total luck. Of course, I was <clears throat> fooling around there a bit. Zero. Nothing. Oh. Oh. That was a waste. Maybe. Oh. Go back, three back. Fives. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Three fives. Is that going to make up for the time that I lost fooling around getting them? like to see the 47 run. It's just a bunch of fives. That was 49. What was it? Oh Can't have been, because you wouldn't get a 47 if it was all fives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! You almost got 44! We're so close! So it close a, to 44. It yeah. was a... <laughs> yes. I mean, it was a, a terrible start, too. Oh, my God. Fives. That's a nice start. No, it was a good start. You got three fives. Oh, the last one? Yeah. Very good start. 15 right off the... Oh, what? See that coin at the bottom? Disappeared. Disappeared. Like as though there were some sort of hidden rules to this game and mm -hmm. they were playing out. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's happening. It might be happening. <laughs> no, I doubt it. Come need... Just one five. Just, just right in front of you. Oh. oh! 45. 45. Pretty good. Just needed one more five. Okay, 49 is the is his top score. Oh, no. <laughs> Super skateboarding, you skate into a factory and turn off the lights and exit the factory. Oh, okay. So it sounds like a platformer as well. And, and you jump to smash the light bulbs, I'm guessing, as you go through things. Ones, two... Oh, what? Is it still there, though? Is it... No, it's not still there. That's terrible. The coins disappear. Have you seen a five? Yeah, there's five. I haven't seen five on the, the top. Not, not very... very often, but to be fair, not very many, not very many fives. <laughs> That's very true. And they seem to be on the top less than on the bottoms too. Yeah. Bottom two. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh my god, I get so though. excited. Oh my god. Thirty-seven. No! <laughs> no! We're idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Get so excited over those coins. Oh. Did you not get that one? Why? Well, I did, but one in the bottom disappeared. It's it just keeps doing right. that. Well, you gotta get the you gotta get the the just <laughs> deals while they're available. That's right. Buggy. Buggy. Of course, when you're in, in a game jam, you don't really have a lot of time to do a lot of debugging. Where are you going? I'm just over here looking. Uh. It's definitely all about luck. Sprite, get over here and play with Atari. Is he bored? Board, so no, he's chewing it's cables. just that Atari always gets mad when Spr Sprite Monster play. <laughs> oh, that's true. It does keep him occupied. Hi! 
Did you know I'm watching you? Does it make a difference? <laughs> Not really. I'll do the bad things anyway. I'm a squirt your butt. Now, how were these cats uh, while we were away? Were they well behaved? Um, except when they wanted food. <laughs> and then they were... Which was almost always. Did you notice they get uh, interested in their food uh, an hour before their food? Oh, yes. <laughs> they were like, they know I'm the telling time. you, I'm telling you to switch to an alarm system. I think that'll nip that right in the bud. Uh, no. Mm-hmm. Because, well... Look at, how it's, look at how well it works with the TT. Treat time? <laughs> I don't think they know what that means. I don't know, but I didn't want to risk it. Um, well, with the they know the noise. Well, with the tree time, it's not regular time. They sit super well behaved. They don't. They, they start biting me before in tree time. In anticipation of tree time, unfortunately. No, oh, that's what? not my experience. Like you're making stuff up. <laughs> the coins disappear on the bottom row. A lot. It's tree time. So yum, yum, oh yum, yum. no! Now the fur hurt us. Is it a? Yeah. It's treat time. It's yeah, not normal treat time. It's not get high time. No, no high for the cats. Yeah, that's a different thing. Oh my God, we're losing it! I'll switch it over as soon as this game is Which one done. was that? I have to assume it was both of them because I didn't see. Yep. To be honest, I thought it was. That will switch over. Who triggered it? It's Al in the fur. Thank you, Al in the fur. Ooh, that's a five up there. Definitely worth going up there. Or if you like, go for a coin and then turn back immediately. No, that does not help at all. doesn't give you any difference if you're going left or right with the coins in terms of monetary amounts. There's fives forwards, fives back. Out of snacks. How did, oh, completely out of snacks. No less snack. You're just going to go forward. You guys were real good this time. Oh, God. Yo. No. Five, stay there. Good. Another five. Another five. Nice. Come on, more fives. More fives. A two and a five. Very nice. This game is completely random. So getting a high score is all about just playing it a lot. 39. Oh, disappeared. 42. <clears throat> is that my highest? No. Nope, you had 45. 45. Uh, game screen. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. You nope. have to wait. You have to look at it very tiny right now. And look at the floor. Because <laughs> I got a bunch of fives in a row. Another five. Another five! Yes! Ooh, 37 already. Come on. Come on. Some coins. Just a couple more fives. You got it. Yes, 48. one more. Just any anything. A two. That's two right at ones. the top. You just drove right by. You don't care. Forty nine. Yeah. You did it. I tied it. That's oh no! no good. You, oh, it's the worst. <laughs> that was the challenge. Can, did they say can you match mine or did, can you beat mine? Can you beat it? My mm. highest score is forty nine. Can you beat it? Tying it is not going to be a big. Uh... Uh, no. Yeah, oh, you did it. Okay. Charles Willen said it, and we missed it. Well. You missed the tie. That was not the goal. The goal also, was to get it was tiny. Points. You could have watched it. If, yeah. If you had glasses, <laughs> and, you could zoom that part of your screen. And also, can you if zoom I a beat Twitch them, stream? I don't think you can. Well, you could. Di yeah, you can digitally zoom. It's not going to look very good. <laughs> it's just going to get bigger pixels. Uh, I'm not sure that that. I'm not sure that that little box is lower resolution than an Atari 2600. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very true. For any of these systems, really. Oh. oh, up, up! Oh, you, you, oh, you, you could have, it was I right did, there! I didn't know the time was so short. But uh, it was two! Oh, it's gone all bad. Oh, it went bad. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. At least it was in big, but that didn't even beat him. That didn't even tie him. Oh, it's a five up there. Let's see, go back! Ugh. This is nope. not going well. Oh! Oh my goodness! I'll take that. Two. One. One. Uh. <laughs> yeah. and James ignored a po coin just before the last one. He could beat the record. It's it's a uh, compromise between wasting time on a one or a two when there could be fives up ahead. It's uh oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's a lot of fives. More, more fives, please. That's All I need is a whole as bunch many of coins as possible. I only need tons of coins. I only need exactly as many coins as it takes <laughs> to beat the score. Ugh. 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 See. Come on. Uh oh. Get turn uh -oh. around. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. What a waste Just kill of time. Yourself. <laughs> what a waste of time. <laughs> oh no. I know I'm missing coins, but it's like. We uh, don't even know. We don't know what the strategy, best strategy is. I think. Two. Oh, there was a five down there. Oh. I'm guessing the fives don't last very long. I don't, I don't. Oh, this is a terrible run. <laughs> <clears throat> No, no, definitely not impossible. Very possible. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no. <laughs> very, very possible. I got super close, so. So good. You weren't wrong, Steps. It is an E record as well as <laughs> E record. <laughs> <laughs> woo! Woo! Five! One! Maybe I should try and stay on the middle one because. That way, I can go up or down. Yeah. Like, if I can. A waste for a one. Yeah, I don't know what you were thinking. Obviously, you weren't. Well, you can't always see <laughs> the number I'm immediately. Just being, <laughs> I'm just literally just being a dick. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not right <laughs> in what I'm saying. I'm just saying things. I'm going to try and do the second level then you can't hop up on the second level yeah it's tricky uh, it's <sighs> waste your hop yeah i don't know i think the <clears throat> bottom one's working pretty well for me getting in the 40s fairly consistently I messed up this one though got my number so low I'm almost out Oh, no, 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 what? Oh, come on! And that was a five right next to me, and it just erased itself. Look, that one, what was that one at the bottom there? It erased probably itself, too. Probably a five. Too. Almost, oh. almost <laughs> always, it's the gonna be the disappear. fives disappear because they hate you. <laughs> they do. They definitely hate me. Yeah. 
you have like it's hard to jump. You have to press down the button for like two seconds to get a. I think it's you go for jump. fives and you opportunistically take anything else. Yes. And you don't go back for anything else. You only go back for a five. It's really there's only <laughs> ones and twos and fives. There's no threes or fours. It's like based on. No, I think you opportunistically go for those things, and otherwise you only go for fives. Like, like don't even. Yeah, you don't pop, go back for anything turn. unless it's a five. That's right. Uh, okay, we can try that because yeah, because it's time. Mm -hmm. And those things add up, but only the fives are the only thing that give you a chance of getting the score you're after. Absolutely, twos. If you get all twos, no, you're not gonna make it. I think let's try that strategy. Like, don't even turn around. Unless it's a five. Don't get out of bed for less than a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that like keep... getting good enough not to miss the ones opportunistically is part of it. Yes. But like, sometimes yeah. you just go for the five first, and if the one happens to catch your eye, then get it. I think you're absolutely right. Just wasting too much time I mean, turning I around say, for twos. I wouldn't say we're winning at this point, but <laughs> no, no. But it's a new strategy. Is the height, height of the jump related to current speed or the long press of the button? Long press of the button. It's the long press of the button. It takes like um, I'd say a second to a second and a <clears throat> half for you to build up enough bounce, really. Like, if you just press it right away, it'll just do, like, a little hop that does nothing. I guess It you... might get you over one of those jumps, but to be honest, uh, when I pressed yeah. it the first time, it didn't. so small and short, and, and you... But you if you're going full immediate. speed, it might. It might uh, get true. you. I don't know. I'm just saying that it didn't work for me. I'm not exactly known for my excellent uh, timing uh, skills and whatnot. That was a five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh... It's, it wouldn't have mattered. It was reduced down to like oh, maybe two five points you per bastard. Fives disappear when they go off the screen. At least it's unjust to the left. They it's disappear. not right. It isn't. This game cheats. No, Once they just, you just the... don't know the rules. The rules <laughs> are that they eventually disappear. It, it, the weakness of the game, and I'm not dumping on the game. It no, was part of a contest, game. and it's pretty cool. Yeah, especially but the, in the weakness time of the world. game is that it's random. Possibly. That's a strength, but the 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 randomness. That was just probably. A, yeah, because I had the button held down accidentally, oh. or not accidentally on purpose. But you can't just get rid of a. Oh, you almost got thirty. <laughs> almost. Oh, don't no, got off the screen. Oh, so uh, wasted. Oh, time. oh, fives, oh my God! Fives, look what is happening. It's the rules. for us too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it. See, that one was fine. That one stayed. Come on, fives. Give me some fives. That's what I like. Twos and fives. Just keep them. 39. <clears throat> going on with these fives up there. Hmm? Oh, what was that? That disappeared. Well, we know what it was. <laughs> it was a five, right? I, five. I, I, I can't say I'm certain. Oh, oh. oh, no, it's hard mode. Oh, that's okay. I now at least we don't everything. have to, now we don't, now we don't have to like worry about knowing whether it was, that was a one. There's a five. Yeah. Okay, we can't uh, tell. Uh, no. Uh, we don't know what, how much time you have left. I wonder why it does that. Uh, memory leak. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it does seem to be like, oh, it has to take up. No, oh, no. I'll get the one as well. Sure, I'll take it. It said, uh, uh, the bit says poke seven seven comma zero, and <laughs> Alan the first says press the space bar. Oh, you know what? That's right. It is going into screensaver mode. Uh, Watch that cat. What is he doing? 
It's this black one. Does he bite cords? He bites uh, boxes, and there's a, a box there that I don't really want him to be biting. Is it the Super Video Arcade? Oh. Yes, it is. Oh, there was a five down there. Hi! It is the uh, somewhat rare Super Video Arcade in television. Hi. What are you doing, you little savage? I'm gonna bite a box. Which one could it be? Could be any of these boxes. Oh, that one didn't disappear. Amazing. Five on the bottom that did, didn't disappear when I got the one on the top. I'm making a mental bite, showing just the tiniest bit of my finger over my arm, and he's doing the... <laughs> <laughs> Twisting his head yeah, back and forth. What is that? What is that? Is it a bug? Is it a thing I can attack? Should nom, I nom, attack nom, it? Nom, nom. <clears throat> it's about a second you hold it down for. Oh, oh Still there, though. be getting the high of the heights that I was before. No, it's because uh, you have to be real lucky and yeah. not screw up. <laughs> <laughs> and you just happen to get real lucky twice in a row and just barely... And when I say screw up, I don't mean you're a piece of trash and <laughs> you should kill yourself. I mean, you didn't do it perfect. True. <laughs> Yeah, I was getting a bunch of fives in a row in some of the earlier games. It might be, the timing might be that you have to, like, wait between games uh, to, like, <laughs> reset the timer so that That's right. the uh, fives running out doesn't trigger so quick. Uh, could be. I mean, it's all based on randomness, so... 44. There were two, right? There was. There were. There, there, there was so you got scammed too. The there, the time ran out and the five disappeared. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I still would have only tied the high score if yeah. I got that five on the bottom that's instead true. of jumping up. Yeah, so it's best that you didn't get it because then you hit. Sorry, I had to protect the Super Video Arcade box. Thank you. Yeah, definitely protect that. Cat chew is not really. Why should I play Lotto today? <laughs> <laughs> I never play Lotto. No. It's a good way to lose all your money. Well, it's not. <laughs> like, you have to try real hard to lose all your money on Lotto. <laughs> you oh. spend a lot of money on Lotto before you lose it. Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah, it's like that real cheap true. tickets. <laughs> Uh, because you get like 50% back, usually? I don't know. I don't know. To at least like 10, 25%. No, what I mean is that the tickets, the tickets aren't, like, 649 tickets aren't like super expensive. As no, they are. You aren't. just have a very little chance of winning. No, don't complain. Don't spend any time complaining. You're doing real good. I am. You're do We're doing fives. real good here. Oh, come on. Just come on. Just get everything. Just get the. Oh. 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 Woo! Too much one. excitement! We're way, way more excited than we should be! But we're excited anyways! Uh, <laughs> did it! Now I can post it. Thank you, Steps. Only took half an hour? I don't know. <laughs> 51 J. Okay. Beat it. No. We're gonna go to the next game. Wait, sorry, yep. uh what what was the question in, on the, the thing? The question. No, it was uh, it was said, can you beat my score? Yes, James can and did. Did. <laughs> it only took a half an hour of straight gameplay. Yes, kittens. Okay. It took perseverance, is what it was. I several times I was like, well, maybe we should move on. <laughs> <laughs> no, not when there's scores to be beaten. It's just too much fun. Uh, so the next game is. Wonder Boy, yes it is. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's take a look at Wonder Boy. It's Actually. nowhere near food time, Kitten. 
We're gonna actually make this full screen. Make it bigger? It might be bigger. No, it's not really that much bigger. So everybody's probably familiar with Wonder Boy. Um, the Wonder Boy is a 1986 platform game uh, published by Sega and developed by Escape, now known as Weststone Bed Entertainment. Originally designed for arcades. I didn't know that. I thought it was a game that was for home play. Uh, it was later ported to the SG... <laughs> what are you doing? Are you taking uh, pictures of hearts? Hearts? Oh, okay. Today's uh, our 18th anniversary. Oh! And I'm not with my wife, so I'm sending oh, her pictures God. of hearts. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, originally designed for arcades, it was later ported to the SG-1000, Mark III, Master System, and Game Gear, uh, ZX Spectrum, and Commodore 64, which is what I played it on. Uh, Amstrad, home CBCs by Activision. Uh, games also known as Super Wonder Boy for blah, blah, blah. It's for its Sega Mark III released in Japan and Revenge of Drancon for its Game Gear release in North America. That's a very strange um, name to pick. Revenge of Drancon as opposed to Wonder Boy. Um, so, Arcade, Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64, Game Gear, Mark III, Master System, SG-1000, Mobile Phone, Wii, ZX Spectrum, and PlayStation 4 for the Arcade Archives. Okay, so let's... There's the SG-1000. Uh, here is the Master System. Very good translation for the Master System. Looks pretty good. Commodore 64, kinda poor. Not super great. Colors big downfall but at least it's it moves fairly smoothly not quite as smooth as the master system Amstrad's oh that's that's much worse that's a flickery mess and very slow yeah it's the not it's the uh, lack of smoothness that is yeah it's like moving exciting. at like four pixels at a time but that's how some systems were they weren't they didn't have smooth scrolling so yep. they had to move in chunks because they couldn't keep up uh zx spectrum i'm too picky Still I, chunk. I wouldn't have played that <laughs> well if it's the only computer you that's had. why i'm no good no i still i would have no i would have not played <laughs> that's what i'm saying i'm not saying i'm right i i think i'm wrong i'm just saying that that's how i would be yeah and then so for is the it Sega that you game hit, gear so is the it Sega that you systems. hit that one thing and you get a helmet uh there's different pickups there's there's the hammer right there. Uh, there's oh, yes. the skateboard. I don't know if the helmet is separate. No, I think the helmet comes with the skateboard. Yeah. There's a skate. Yeah, helmet comes with the skateboard. Uh, but it does provide an extra hit for yeah. you, right? Okay, so let's go to the. They're promoting safety. That's right. The 8 bit system version of it, which is. A port, newish port. Oh, thank you. I will change the cart. Uh, okay, so let's go to the Atari and switch over for us. Thank you, Dan. So I'll press the left in the button to go back directory and Wonder Boy. So this uh, was made by a whole bunch of people, but the developer is Yaron Near. I believe this is a PAL game, so the colors are going to be a bit off. There, there's the... There's a nice title screen. Colors a bit off. Uh, she looks Does like this she joystick... Has... The joystick? Yeah, yeah, okay. it's the only one. It's the joystick one. She looks like a zombie. She's probably not supposed to be green, but... Uh... Oh, I see. So, up yeah, jump. up to jump, because there you do get a hammer. There you go. And that's the button one. You want to get the fruit? can't get all the fruit sometimes. So why is that fruit there? That's... I, I, it's just a work in progress. I think the fruit oh, okay. is random. Gotcha. Because the fruit should only be that high when you're on the platform. So your uh, energy does continuously run down. So you need to keep moving Tell me about to it. get fruit. <laughs> 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 um, so Yarnir also made Dragon Master. Uh, Yamo Fight, Sumo Adventure, and The Dude. Um, 
So Yaren says, some of you probably know my all-time favorite arcade game was Wonder Boy. Hey, just look at my avatar here on Atari Age. Hours spent on the arcade machines wasting many coins. Ah, when I was a teenager, yes. Wonder Boy was ported to the C64, and they'd done pretty nice work. It's okay. It never came to the Atari 8-bit. I was very upset. Now, many, many years later, can you tell how exactly old I am? Can I? I've decided to take on the challenge and start working on an eight Atari 8-bit port. I've turned to the best guys I know here. Miker is doing incredible work on the theme music and effects. Pop Milo and myself are coding the game. Jose uh, Perry, per, Pereiras uh, overarching the graphics and recently joined Tix with his amazing sprite capability. Ah! This is just in its initial stages, but the results are for, so far outstanding. There's no end date for this release, but I think it's worth waiting. For now, I'm sharing some screenshots for of our progress so far. That was just the initial um, release of it. Um, so he first posted about it December 21st, 2019. This build is from over two years ago, July 26, 2020, because I kept hoping he would update it. Now we play the newer version, but he hasn't updated it, sadly. So this is uh, from July 26th, 2020. Um, so the last post in the thread uh, for this game was one and a half years ago on February 9th, 2021. Do we know what that one was? Uh, it was a rock. Oh, there was an egg. Oh, uh, I don't think he's put in that upgrade. Oh, okay. It would have been a skateboard. Cool. Um, so he's still uh, active what, in the forums. What, what, oh, is it time? Uh, you run out of energy. See the green uh, bar? You want to keep that high. Yeah. So really, you have to keep moving quite a bit in this game. Uh, because I don't think he gives quite enough fruit. <laughs> no. <laughs> to keep uh, keep you alive. What oh, happens going, when you touch a rock? Uh, you lose energy. Oh. And you first. die when you hit a skull. And you can't destroy the rocks. So he's still active in the forums and currently working on Dragon ah! Master. Which is also another favorite game of mine. And I think we did play that in the show. Um, which got his last update two months ago, so there's still a chance that this game will continue and be worked on. And that's that's my uh, ulterior motive for putting some of these games on this on the show. It's like, oh, maybe he just hasn't thought about it in a while. And uh, maybe showing it on the show might uh, encourage him to keep going on it. Because this is a great game. It's a really good platformer. And it's had many, many, many sequels. Uh, some that have developed into like RPG-ish type ah! games. Um, I did play this on the C64 um, quite a bit, so you can read out the plot. The plot! Um, but the C64, I, I didn't like the skateboard mm. very much because it um, felt out of control and I fell off the cliffs all the time with the skateboard. So you just jump over these guys? Oh yeah, you don't have to shoot them unless they're like really in your way. The plot. In the far past, a caveman named Tom Tom is attacked by the demon lord named Dracon. He manages to escape, but Dracon kidnaps his girlfriend, Tanya. Tom what? Tom explores the island and avoids the Grim Reaper, who has set out under the command of Dracon to lead him to his doom. Along the way, he must also fight Dracon's six advisors, who wish to destroy him. After questing for ages, Tom Tom confronts Dracon and saves Tanya. After returning home, Tom Tom is heralded as a wonder boy. <laughs> so after the end of the game, he's a Wonder Boy, not at the beginning. Yes, the title is your goal. Uh, yes. You wish to be, be Wonder the boy. Wonder Boy. Be the Wonder Boy you see in the world. So you will see some glitches in the game. Oh, I should have shot uh -oh. that guy. Um, a, a number of them are because it should be played in PAL, and we're playing on NTSC. So the only glitch in PAL I found found when playing on the emulator is when you get on the very high vertical parts of the game and you get you start jumping into the score um, it doesn't uh, doesn't handle that very well uh, it gets all should I read the gameplay part yes tell us how to play the game gameplay <laughs> the titular wonder boy is a tribal caveman like tribal caveman like boy whose girlfriend Tina has been captured by the Dark King, known as Dra Dra Dracon in the Game Gear version. The player oh, must guide higher. Wonder Boy through seven areas, each consisting of four rounds. Oh, you can jump higher. Oh, that's where the second egg is? Uh, no, it's just pressing the button. 
and jumping. Oh, okay. So, then maybe we can make it to the end. The player must guide the Wonder Boy through seven areas, each consisting of four rounds. The boy can arm himself with a stone hatchet, which he can throw at oncoming foes, a skateboard, which he can rush through the levels in temporary protection by an angel, which allows him to destroy foes by simply running into them. All of the aforementioned power-ups are obtained by breaking open eggs. These eggs can also contain unpleasant surprises, curses, which cause him to lose vitality oh, no. more quickly than usual, and poisonous mushrooms, which reduce the boy's vitality in one go. The player must remain aware of the vitality meter, which yeah. constantly runs down at a steady pace and can only be refilled by collecting food throughout the level. There's also one doll to collect in each level, which doubles the bonus points awarded at the end of the level. If all 28 dolls are collected, then a bon bonus 8th area will be unlocked. Woo! At the end of every area, the boy will encounter an incarnation of the chief antagonist as a boss character. Once defeated, the Mighty Lord's Mask flies off and transforms into an item such as a teacup or a piece of fruit, before subsequently making his escape. The two-player alternating mode is available where each player takes turn whenever the other one loses a life. So we wouldn't have been able to make these jumps if we didn't know the high jump. I almost started reading the rest, but that would have been funny and not in a good way. <laughs> in a funny good way? I think you might be an angel right now. An angel? No, oh, you were flashing and it looked like you touched a guy and he died instead of you. Oh, no, I am just, it's just glitchy because we're playing on MCSC. I do want to get a PAL Atari 8-bit. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I need some right. food. Oh, level four. I still have three lives, though. Two lives now. Um, yeah, I when I went to PRG, that was one of my... Oh, God. One of my goals was to find a PAL Atari 8-bit system. Uh, preferably modded, but I didn't find any, which is... Hey, you made it to the end of the level. Hey, the end of the area, right? Is it crash? Or is it level? Do you have to press space? <laughs> to wake back up? I think we finished the game. <laughs> I think there's just one level, which makes nice crash. <laughs> yeah, either that's the PAL NTSC issue, or it's just like, yeah, you, you're done. That's the end of the, the thing we've worked on, which is what I am guessing it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's a really good start. It's got the basics in there. Yep. It's got the food, it's got some danger, it's got scrolling. Um, so it's the dark level. It's the dark level. So I'm really hoping that they continue on with the game, um, because all the basics are there and it works really well. Um, besides the NTSC PAL glitch issue. Uh, I think when I was playing it on the emulator, it only glitched out, like I said, when you jumped above into the score and then it's like went all crazy. Uh, but beyond that, that was fine. Um, so hopefully they continue on, but yeah, when I played on the C64, I just, I always avoided the skateboard because the level, the first level you're on, there's a lot of open pits and gaps and platforms you have to jump on and the skateboard makes you go twice as fast. So it was, yeah, it was too crazy for me. Um, so I always try to avoid the skateboard. <laughs> so looking forward to them continuing that game. Um, I hope they haven't completely given up. They haven't said they have. And the developer's still in the Atari Age forums, making mm. another game. Ah. But yeah, I, I know that people sometimes get bored when they start a game and then they hit a wall and it's like, oh, now it's tedious. And then they just move on to the next one until it becomes tedious again to add things in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. That's the end of the games today. It's very short. Yep. Uh, cause I'm preparing for some other things coming up. Let's take a look at that. Um, we are having the Halloween homebrew special on Monday. We're moving the day from Tuesday to Monday next week. Um, because Halloween's on the 31st. 
Finishing a game, in my opinion, is the hardest part, Thrust says. Yes, it's all the tiny little things, fixing the bugs, yep. balancing the gameplay as well. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if it's an original game, that's much harder because you're in charge of it completely. Yeah, yeah. Um, if it's a port, you have a reference. You have a reference of how hard is this supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah. oh, this is this is e too easy or it's too hard. And it's yeah. like, okay, easy. Um, yeah, uh, Halloween Homebrew Special, we're going to be playing Hobgoblin 2, uh, Abu Simpel Profanation, Cemetery Chase, Nightshade, maybe one more. We will see. Um, so be there with your Halloween costume on. We won't be able to see it, but... That's fine. Uh, but we'll be dressed up. The cats will be dressed up as cats. Evil cats. We'll put little goatees on them. <laughs> little mustache, twirled mustaches. Um, and then uh, next Friday... Is that Friday? Yeah. We'll be uh, starting our uh, path through the ABBUC 2022 entries, part one and two. It's an old 10-liner called a uh, cemetery chase or something like that yes that's the one we'll be playing actually um so if you, anybody has more suggestions on some atari 8-bit halloween scary spooky games that we haven't played before on the show because we're trying not to repeat ourselves uh please let me know i've made a forum post for that people suggest it thank you dan we had fun with the games and um atari age day 2022 is coming up most likely it'll be on the 12th and 13th that's a saturday and sunday um i don't know if that's your friday i think it might be fourth oh it is because we're not gonna have a friday show that week if which we're week, going to do it is the word 12th and 13th saturday and sunday that is your friday because it's two weeks from now mm -hmm. um so if we are doing that i'll let you know mm -hmm. um and if we aren't doing it that day, then you'll, Darcy will be here. Yay. Uh, and uh, also the ColecoVision Day uh, might be adding even one more game, new game to that list. It's a fun game. 11th would be early. So Darcy. Yeah. So either get Darcy or you get Atari Age Day on the weekend. Because we have 24 games that we have to get through. So that's why I split it into two different days. Yeah, yeah. There's there's a few developers that have multiple games, but so we'll just do that person in a row. They'll get two or three slots or whatever. Um, but it's still 24 slots, and it's about a half hour each one. So it'll be two days of six hours each. But that's why I split it up, because we're not doing a 12-hour day. It's not happening. The people wouldn't even be around and awake. I guess we could start at, like, 8 a.m., and do people in Europe, but I really cannot do 12 hours in a row. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Over two days is bad enough. But uh, on ColecoVision Day, I have my RGB modded ColecoVision. We're going to be playing uh, Moon Cresta, which is a brand new Coleco game. Uh, Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, DX, uh, Gradius, and maybe one more game if it's ready. Might be another new game. Uh, with the uh, Super Game Module, which adds enhancement more memory i think uh better audio chip as well i'll do some investigation into that and talk about the super game module and we will have an offline interview with the head of op code games which is a distributor of ColecoVision games um who distributes all these games here and um yeah, and I'll be putting out more interviews from PRGE. I've gotten through seven of them now. And there's 14, so halfway there. And a special video of Al opening up his Atari 7800 custom. Um, I think that's enough to keep you going for now. <laughs> <laughs> Eduardo? Eduardo. Yes, it is Eduardo. You're very, you're very correct. Um... So, thank you for hanging out today and playing these fun games. What did we play? We played Guntus, a fun shooter. Yep. Uh, nice the best, probably the best game ever made. He did so well. 
You did very, very well. <laughs> um, it's interesting in the fact that it's a fixed screen shooter, but you can move anywhere you want on the board. Yeah, that was so weird. It was very cool. unusual. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. cool that you can move right up to the top. Um, does Gradius on the SGM use the FM sound in it? I don't know. Uh, most likely, but uh, I will investigate that uh, for the show. I haven't done any research on that because it won't be f for at least a month, around a month from now. So it'll be like end of November-ish, maybe even early December. Nice show, and Darcy won. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I won one of the games. <laughs> Darcy's the best at Guntus. I am the best at Cartfall in the world! <laughs> Hi, Zero Page Homebrew. Congrats for the developer interviews. Uh, Kabuto JRM, thank you so much. Yeah, it was a lot of fun talking to the developers there. Um, and there's so many there. I couldn't not do it. I, I did 14 interviews. So I was like, oh, I should take advantage. And I brought down my all my film equipment and uh, got the lav mic, so I did it properly. Unfortunately, my lav mic was scratchy and poppy and not very good at all. So I muted it on some of them. Some of them it behaved, so... Yeah, uh, definitely catch up. They're very short. They're like eight to ten minutes each, so they're very, very easy to watch. <laughs> My apologies again, James, for bombing. That seems to be present in so many of those interviews. <laughs> yes, Jesse is in the background. There's a lot of people in the background because I filmed that at an angle where there's most of the Atari Age booth there. Mm -hmm. So you can play uh, Spot the Developer or Spot <laughs> the Atari Age um, <laughs> member. <laughs> Because people did that last time I did interviews. They're like, hey, there's so-and-so in the background. Yeah, there's a lot of people in the background. Especially Al, because he's there the whole time, <laughs> usually. It's it's funny to, to see and point out the people. Um, but people are really enjoying the interviews, which is great. Because I did no prep for them. Because I couldn't, because there was 14 of them. <laughs> I had no time. Um, and I had no time to even... Yeah. yeah. Um, and no time to even uh, look at the showroom floor, either or play any of the arcade games, or go to any of the talks. I did zero of those. Um, and I looked at the floor, like the sales, for like a couple hours. That was it. But that was okay. It wasn't on purpose, but as, uh, as my wife and I were helping work the Atari Age booth, it was hard to avoid. Yeah, very true. I mean, if people were doing interviews there, I would be in the background of the shots too. <laughs> so I was hanging around the Atari Age booth quite a bit. Um, thank you for hanging out today with us, Ivory Tower Collections. Oops. Uh, Thrust, Caputo JRM, uh, Dan ABC, Vitoko, Alan the First, Steps, uh, Charles Whelan, uh, Atari 800 XL Rules, uh, Drexel, who's beside me, and everybody else who was lurking. I was late to join today, actually working my day job. Day job? Oh my god, who has day jobs? <laughs> <laughs> you should just be playing video games at all times. You're very welcome, Steps. So we'll be back on um, Monday for the Halloween homebrew special. So make note of the day. It's not on a Tuesday. It is at the regular time, uh, 6 p.m., maybe a little bit delayed because we have to get into costume Tanya will be coming home from work sadly Halloween is not a federal holiday oh not yet hey? not, not yeah. yet you know it just takes enough people because <laughs> there's no holidays in October are there for there probably Canada is. Yeah, I think we did one we just yeah, had one we always have there's, yeah. a whole, there's like more than 12 what? holidays a year now yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they just introduced one in like February when there wasn't one before like not too long ago it was like family day or something yes and now we have a holiday in every month so everybody gets one day off yeah. we have a holiday on the first November 1st yeah we did we did one we had uh, National Reconciliation Day I think that's a new holiday in October yeah I think was that's... that October or September yeah uh, but that's not um, that's not a stat holiday <sighs> Isn't it? I don't think Federally so. Federally, in some places, I think it is. Not provincially. But, like, federally doesn't Man, mean no, federally. It means federal, 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 federal employees. employees. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Cheese Pup Cake, thank you for following. Church-related on the first. Yeah, there's a bunch of holidays, and they're all mixed up. Some are 
local, some are federal, some of the local ones are on different days. It's crazy. Um, so yes, be back on Monday. You'll see cats, you'll see us, you'll see spooky games and us dressed up. Hopefully that all works out. I think we've got all our costumes. We have to dig them out though. So uh, that's it. So thank you for tuning in and we'll say bye and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Later.